Babcock Ranch is the brainchild of eco-conscious developer and former professional football player Sid Kitson. So when you look at this building, this just went through a Cat 4 hurricane. Kitson and his partners purchased 91,000 acres in 2006, bigger than Manhattan, with a dream to build America's first environmentally friendly, hurricane-proof, fully sustainable small town. We are the first solar-powered town in America. We have a solar field that's 150 megawatts. But that's just part of the story. How many people live here now? About 5,000 people. And, and it'll eventually be 50. plans to grow to what? About 50,000 people. Kitson rode out the storm in his lakeside home in town. And I remember sitting here, I had the weather on, and the weather person says, well, this Category 4 hurricane is now heading for Babcock Ranch. And not only is it heading for Babcock Ranch, but it's going to be on the eastern side of the wall, which is the worst place to be. How long did the hurricane sit over? It's about eight to 10 hours. This run unbelievable. You can barely hear yourself think. He took this video with his iPhone. At the height of the tempest, there were white caps on the lake. So as soon as the sun came up the next morning, I jumped in my car and I started driving out. And the only damage were a few down trees and a few shingles off the roofs. That's it? That's it. And so our recovery was maybe a day. Babcock Ranch was designed to accommodate Florida's ecosystem with indigenous plants and natural waterways for drainage. It was built 25 to 30 feet above sea level to avoid storm surges. All electric and phone lines are buried. Aren't you just lucky that you happen to be on a higher level than most of the parts of Florida that got washed away. Yes, I think that's important. But now when it comes to the wind and, uh, and flooding and rain, and so if that infrastructure is not built properly, you will have homes that get flooded. You will have that wind damage. No one here lost power. Sid Kitson took us to see this massive solar array what you see is 440 acres. 700,000 panels built by Florida Power and Light. They withstood Ian's brutal battery. There's a lot of water, but you don't see a single panel that's been dislodged. And uh, there was quite a bit of wind that came through here over the last uh, few days. So. Gusts of 150 or more. Gusts of over 150. And it did not take a single panel out of here, which is really just remarkable.